Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So, we didn't quite get our refitting done before. We went out and pulled off a mission and uh, we had taken some damage and stuff. So, we're kind of nice still in the process of updating our mechs. So, this one, Hunchback here, took a lot of damage. So, let's have a look at this guy first. Going to do some refitting on him. Uh, we lost a lot of weapons and stuff off this guy. Uh, first of all, let's repair. And we need to replace this side over here, so let's put a hand in first. And we got a couple of weapons that we can just replace the old ones with. So we have another medium X pulse and a medium pulse laser. Uh, we lost the Warfare Suite QS, which was two tons. Um, heat sink as well, double heat sink that is. And another medium pulse laser from this torso. So we have a bit of weight to work with. So what I want to do is a couple things. First thing I want to do is I'm going to drop the engine by a little bit just to give us a bit of extra weight. So we're going to drop to a 275. It's going to give us half a ton. And then I'm going to take the jump jet out because we don't need it. Not in here right now. So we've got six tons right now. So we're going to go up and we're going to add the Warfare Suite here, which is a little bit better than the other one that we had the QS. Uh, not by much, but a little bit better. So we're going to drop that in this guy. Um, and I think probably what we'll end up doing, um, heat-wise, we're doing okay. But we'll probably just go to weapons. And because we don't have a lot of other stuff we can replace this with, I'm going to drop in a couple of medium lasers. We're going to pull the exchanger down here to the center torso and put another medium laser in the head here. Don't have a lot of laser hard points, so we'll do that. Uh, we've got one ton left over, and our heat sinking is actually really good so far. So do we have a tag or anything we can use in this guy? We don't. So let's go to, well, we could just pull the patchwork materials for now, I think. Yeah, until we get some other stuff, let's just do that. Well, the AMS, we could put another patchwork materials in and run with an AMS in this guy, but it's not really the one we want. We want the one that's going to defend all of our units. We don't really have that one right now. So while this would add a little bit of a bonus to this guy, wouldn't add all that much. We're going to also add the uh, fire control system advanced in this guy. Um, where should we put the... I'm going to take the armored cowl out too. I think I'm going to put a range finder on him as well. And we'll put the slick suite in as well. We might as well. We've got it here. Uh, plus one resolve gain for all lance members is excellent. Um, injuries resisted. Um, plus two initiative. Now is this does this replace the rangefinder? It does. Okay. So I'm wondering if that's going to be better. The rangefinder is kind of nice though for the base sight distance, but I think we'll go this route. That resolve gain is nice too. We can use resolve a lot more now. Mm, yeah, let's go this route. The plus two initiative is nice as well. So we'll go this route. We got one ton remaining. And I think we'll pull out the patch materials, patchwork materials for now. And it's 11 days, but we're going to confirm this. And now I want to have a look at the Assassin, which is, I think, overall been rel relatively like underperforming uh, in all of its roles. So... How do we shore this guy up and make him something a little better? Um, we can remove the regular heat sinks because we have a double heat sink kit just sitting here. We can put that in so we don't have to worry about cooling anymore. Um, now we were talking about putting acid ammo in here. Um, also, do we have a lower arm? Does this hand... Or, no, it takes a hand on that side. So we'll put the hand in because we might as well. Um, can't change the core, really. Uh, XL gyro. This isn't... Uh, we already got the XL in there. Um, it's got really good speed. The tag is nice on there. I mean, we could pull off the spiked helmet, put it in the range finder. Uh, predator fire control. 
Now this is better on another mech. We gotta integrate this guy somehow. Um, geez, I don't know man. We could just throw the acid ammo in and just alter the shots with acid ammo. Um, yeah, so there's the acid ammo. And then maybe upgrade the SRM4 to another SRM6. The bonus ones. That's going to increase the firepower slightly. Now do we have... Got lots of patchwork materials. So I want to remove... I think I want to, re want to remove this spiked helmet. Um, and I think I want to put in... Where are you here? Range finder. I think I want to put this guy in. Now we got to get one ton out of this, which is no problem. Uh, we don't have... If we go patchwork here... Actually, let's move the SRM ammo in this torso. I'm going to figure this out here. And then patchwork here. This patchwork here with this one gone and this one here. We got one ton left over for some case two, which we'll put in here. I think that's better. A lot of patchworks on this guy to make them viable. Now, weapons. I don't think we've got any better, um, got these plus five damage small lasers. Don't really have any more laser points though. So I think that's probably going to be it. Um, what's our heat at here? I mean, we could upgrade the medium laser, the plus one to hit medium laser with the ER. But I think I would rather go with the accuracy because we're in close most of the time with this guy anyway. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We need to get some more double heat sinks to keep our eyes open for that. Okay, so we're going to go this route, I think. Let's confirm this. It's not a bad build. All right, so I think I'll leave that for now. The hunchback, I'm gonna, or the uh, sorry, the fire starter will leave for now. Um, do we have? Let's have a look at this guy again. This is our melee mech. Yeah, I can't squeeze anything else into the head because I need this here. I think this is what we can do with this guy. Now, the Wolverine. Here's the question. Do we take out the missile bonus and put in where are you here? The fire control system predator. Proves the called shot modifier. Advanced Zoom grants accuracy bonus of up to 5 that grows with range. Zoom grow range is 210 meters. Thermal Vision grants accuracy bonus of up to 3 for overheating targets. I don't know, I'm just going to feel like that this is going to be better. Now, does that mean the accuracy bonus of up to 5? Does that mean like 5%? Or does that mean like plus 5 accuracy? Let's try it out. I want to try it out and see. Let's confirm that. I want to start taking legs and stuff. So, Okay, so let's get these guys fixed. It's going to be how many days? 
11 days. Got Baba Yaga back in 9. So we got enough to pull off that, that mission we want to pull off. So... Uh, let's attract top talent, man. You kidding me? Plus 4 tech bonus for 14 days? You bet. I'll take that. That'll get us back early. Not that much earlier, but a little bit. Nice. Everything back at the same time. Can't complain. All right. Contracts. We know what we're doing today. Code of Silence. Let's take this guy. Priority mission. We got Silence and Outworldian Mech Warder here on Morthank. Morthak. Anyways, he's gone sour with the Draconis Combine, so uh, let's take care of this issue. And we're going to go Max Salvage. Um, the C bill payout would be really, really nice on this, but I'm thinking our mechs are in a good position. And we're going to go max salvage because we might get some really juicy stuff out of this. Oh, right, we get a bonus because we're, uh, it said 313 salvage, but we're getting 419 because we get a bonus with Draconis Combine because we're allied to them. That's nice. Let's accept this. And I think, let's leave the, f mm. I want to try the Assassin, so let's leave him in, and we're going to put all the other mechs back in like we normally have, and let's deploy and get this done. So this guy thinks he's too good to work with the Draconis Combine, does he? Well, let's try and make short work of this guy and his buddies here. Looks like he's only got one Lance defending him. One and a half Skull missions, so we should expect some really hard targets here. So... Let's get into play. Confirmed. We know what we gotta do here. Waiting for orders. Got it. I'm interested to see how this swapping the medium X pulse out for the two medium lasers does. What kind of accuracy difference we're looking at now. And I want to see how good this acid round is. All right, let's move. What do we got here? A dragon? Oh, a stinger. Okay. Uh, let's reserve. And reserve again. They probably can't even see us yet. Holden for tactical advantage. Rapier. Pirate striker. Hmm. I think this rapier's got to die first. Dragon we want to get for parts. Well, let's give him the good news. Hello, boys. I'm back. Let's hammer this guy. Uh, there's a lot of laser misses. Order. Okay, let's see how you do here. Can we get in that guy? We can. Okay. So let's see what the Go difference on. is now with the new systems. And... So the medium lasers... Medium pulse is at not an optimal range, though. So the medium lasers aren't too, too bad. 56% sitting in the torsos there. So they're a little better at a little greater distance. They won't be so good as cl at close up, but I think this is a nice kind of um, a nice kind of mix here, I think, for better chances to hit more damage. Nice. I'm receiving you. Okay, Comet. Can you get that guy? You can. Copy that, Commander. So we're going to split fire. Here's what I like to do. I'm going to try these... Um, So, B is going to take... the AX ammo. I can't fire that on A? But I can hit B. It must just be like within meters. Um, I want the tag on B as well. So let's fire this.
Okay, so he's got acid on him. Acid lasts for a couple of turns. That looks like something nasty in his arm there. Man, I love the models. They're just such do such a good job with everything on this game. All right, we're gonna hammer this guy because I want him gone. So let's fire at him. Wow, he took a lot of punishment this turn. Oh, where are my horns at? Where are my horns at? Let's finish this guy up. Here it comes, folks. Kick this face in, man. Oh, bye bye. Damn, I fired the A-pod. Oh well. Yeah, it's all right. No sweating it. All right, so I'm interested to see now. This helmet is supposed to give me wow, an accuracy bonus, and man, does it ever! Probably because this guy hasn't moved yet. Yeah, so I can't really rate it on this, but we're gonna do an offensive push. Try and take this leg and fire. Nah, not really. Didn't see any increase in damage. We did a pretty good job in the leg though. Probably the stinger going next. Or this guy. Yeah, that guy. Okay, now the stinger. He's making a break for it. Yeah, he's had enough. I don't blame you, man. This is not the match you want to be fighting in. Warning. Enemy not gonna help. Detected. Not gonna help. I copy. Okay, now let's look at the difference here. So not much difference at all. Pulse laser running at 88%. Medium laser running at 84%. I'm, I don't know, man. I'm thinking that even at this point in time, the medium lasers might be a better bet. Once you get a better chance to hit. I copy. We got a headshot there? Yeah, it looked like we did. Okay, let's get in here. And the SRM ammo is going to switch back to the bonus to hit LK ammo. And we're going to target this guy. And go after this leg and fire. Wow. He's... <laughs> I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. It's just... We're just dissecting your mech. He's like, okay, that's it. Not going to take that anymore. Once we get this boss, though, a good chance for some dragon parts out of this one. They're making a break for it. Okay, I got a misfire going off in that one. Damaged LRM. So that stinger should be pretty, um, yeah, so it's not that big a deal. It's pretty maneuverable, so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, don't bother waste, well, All right. I was going to say don't bother wasting ammo. We're going to need it for the other guys, so. Not gonna bother. Megasaur will take care of that vehicle. Yes, Commander. So let's go on this side. Maybe we don't take the engine out. Who knows? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Here it comes. And squash. For 
Mr. Outworld Alliance guy, we're coming for you. We're coming for you. You left your lance, you hung him out to dry. It's a butcher, ooh. We can get some good melee stuff off that guy. If we can get some better heat sinking in this mech, we can put a couple of uh, ER mediums in here. Well, the other thing is, is maybe we switch out um, yes, Commander. the pulse laser and the torso for a pair of, uh, and the two regular medium lasers for three ER mediums and a heat sink. That's another possibility. It's Jim in the butcher. Uh, Understood. Moving take back. some pot shots. That's a miss. He's gonna come after me. It's better he goes after the Wolverine. Sixty percent damage reduction. Okay, now his escape is over here, I think. If he's going to try and get away. Standing by. Not an optimal range, but we're going to fire nonetheless. Is he going to come out? Come out and play. Just barely. Let's get right up here on him. That's a pretty damn good chances to hit. Uh, we go for the legs, maybe. Or do I want him just dead? Yeah, I think I want him just gone. Ooh. Wow, I didn't expect that to happen. But maybe we can take the other leg now? Uh, you can't step on them if otherwise we're gonna like start losing parts here on it. See if we can take the other leg Don't know if he's got talons in these legs or not but I'm here. I think he does have melee. If I remember correctly, the butcher does have some melee stuff on it. I'm not sure what it is, though. Ah, well. Enemy Hooray, now we have to get out of here all the way over there. Alright, well, let's see what we get out of this. I mean, maybe it was better that we killed him, because it'd be better to get dragon parts than um, parts from the butcher, I think. Well, the butcher is a nice mech. It's also very rare to to, to see. So the dragon will be a little bit more popular, I think, around here at that weight class. Plus, is the the dragon's a bit speedier too, which is like fits right in with our vein here of nice, fast, quick attack mechs. Ah oh, man, it's taking forever. Stop. Waiting for orders. 
So hopefully the next mission we take... I think we should probably jump planets now. We are on a, a world controlled world. Which means we don't have the uh, Draconis Combine store. Unless we can somehow flip this world. Which I don't see happening anytime soon. But we'll check We'll check to see what the... Uh, how much we've flipped here. Because we, we have taken a fair number of Draconis Combine missions on this world, so... It might m might have moved a little bit. No shooting. Just running. Waiting for orders. Aye aye. Okay. Commander. Two more turns and we're out of here. Commander. All right, make a sorry. You make it first. Nice. I nice to have another Lance coming in at this point, but... Receiving you. Yeah, just short. Affirmative. If we hadn't lowered that engine by that, like... From a 280 to a 275, I bet you we would have been out. But we needed the half tons, so there you go. Alright, we're out of here, guys. Let's get out of here. Yes, Commander. There it is, folks. Copy that. Nice. Let's go home. Alright, mission increased by 20%, which is good, because that probably pretty much covers our drop costs out of that, what we were getting for that. And we took no real damage at all. I'm just double checking for component hits that I may not have seen. Nope. That A-pod's got to go, though. we got to find something better. Alright, what do we got? Oh, there's a fair number of butcher parts here. Lots of dragon parts, which is excellent, because he bailed. Uh, okay, so we got four LRM 17 pirate recoil of one 10% misfire minus one accuracy six tons mm. Tag tagger armored cow really don't really have a whole lot here, eh? Oh fire control system melee Melee accuracy and initiative well defensive gyro Double heat sink kit. I think I'm going to throw this in. Um, just so we have one lying around. Warfare suite we lost. Five precision ammo. LRM chaff. LRM narc. Grants visibility on hit counters. ECM fields up to three. So if someone's got an ECM, it'll remove three pips of the ECM, I guess. Plus one improved accuracy. Um, do we have LRM narc ammo? We don't. SRM inferno ammo. That's definitely a possibility. Huh. We could turn the uh, assassin into an acid overheat mech. That's a good possibility. Now, is there anything else we need? Ferrofibrous? I don't think so. We got two. We do have endo steel still. Engine core is worth two million. Tags and taggers. Plasma can is not bad, but if we had a, a lance of high weight medium max, it would be okay. But six tons, especially on, like on light max, is not really the best. Plus one accuracy flamer. Take that for the fire starter. Uh, which is rapidly becoming obsolete, though. Defensive gyro. Hmm. Come on, man. Decide. What am I going to do? Lower melee. 
Plus one melee accuracy. Not a whole lot of damage. Plus two recoil with ranged weapons though. Plus 15% rapid seat generated. <sighs> okay, I made my mind up. Let's grab the infernal ammo. And let's grab the bonus flamer for now. Let's go this route. Ooh, three dragon parts. Nice. Rapier part. AC5. LR5. Got the plasma cannon tag and tagger, vehicle flamer, armored cow, which we probably won't use, and a steel heat sink. We made out pretty good on that. That was a pretty good roll. Ooh, a lot of stuff changed hands this time. Huh. No damage, really. We just basically used our speed to run those guys over. Okay, I want to have a look real quick before we do anything else. Let's have a look at the bays. I want to see if we can find a way. First of all, let's refit the assassin. Twenty percent damage. God, I don't know, man. Do I go with like is the Inferno going to be more help? You know what? I think we'll leave the Inferno ammo off for now. And if we're taking a higher level mission, we might take it just to be able to uh, overheat a mech that we want. Maybe I just use it situationally. So let's take out one of these flamers on this guy and move in one of the bonus flamers. And do we have... We have a light patchwork material here. I was thinking we could put something that's worth a half ton, but if we do this... Then we can put um, one and a half tons. Plus two improved accuracy. Plus one improved accuracy. So this is a better one, what a better weapon. Let's drop the tagger in. Then we're gonna go grab uh, this patchwork material, throw it in here. And then we're going to drop um, two points of armor. Or do we go with endo steel? I think we go with endo steel. I don't like the idea of losing patchwork materials off this guy. We got a half a ton left over. Anything we can put in for half a ton. Heat sinking is good, right? Yeah. What do you know? Improved jump jet, because why not? Nope, we can't, because it has to be a half a ton. A jump jet. Sure, why not? Not sure how much of an improvement that is, but uh, it's something. All right, so let's get these guys back. Take one more mission today. Thank you. And before we do that, let's have a look at the barracks. Okay, we finally do have the ability to take some more stuff here. I think I want to take called shot bonus. That's, I think, something we definitely need. So let's confirm that. I know we were on our way up to uh, Warlord, but I want to get some heavier mechs, so called shot bonus is going to have more of an immediate effect. Uh, wow, we got lots of XP on you, eh? Uh, Megasaur, 
you're doing more shooting now, so let's get gunnery up by one. We want to have our vision up one one more, and that'll be that. Training complete. Standing by. Comment, let's get your evasion up. Gunnery would have been nice, but I think evasion and called shot bonus. Training confirmed, Commander. Definitely can use both those. And sunflower. Yeah, let's work towards evasion again. Gunnery. Yeah, let's go that route. Let's confirm. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, so something we can do real quick here before, and then I'll jump planets between um, episodes. What do you think? Can we do a defend base? Probably. Two and a half skulls. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. And going to go full salvage. Accept. Yeah, don't think I don't think the uh, fire starter is going to be as of effective on the ice worlds. So we'll leave it off for now. We'll go this route and deploy. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I've ever done a defend base on this map before. Oh, worldly and calm chatter, eh? Keep them away from the base. Blah, blah, blah. Turrets, blah, blah. Um, hmm. Don't know where reinforcements would show up from. It's kind of a really small map. Who are you going to shoot at? Nobody. Oh man, that's a bad move. Spider? Ready for orders. Don't want to get too far away from this base. I think this is about as far as I'll go. Don't know this map all that well, so... Mm, that's a pretty bad chance to hit on that guy. A little better here, but I think this guy being gone is probably a better idea. Ooh, okay. Wasp. Come on, man, get our turrets online. Thank you. Hmm. I didn't help all that much. Yeah, we're in range here, so I guess we move in a little closer than I wanted to. Let's just hammer this guy. Ah, we lost the mask. Oh, I didn't know you were there. Totally in range. Let's wipe this guy out, please. Here it comes, folks. Yeah, man. <laughs> you jumped up and kicked him. Omnimech, eh? Didn't know it was an Omnimech. I know now. Ooh, Shadowhawk. Commander. I guess we move out a little bit. Hmm. Confirmed. 
didn't really want to have to move out here, but I don't know where the, the next wave of guys are coming from, so. Ouch. Ouch. What's up, buddy? Pew. He sure is. Thanks for that pan across. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Can't get a flank attack on that guy, I guess, eh? Um. Oh, still out of range. Fire in. Pew. Attack failed. It sure did. There we go. Man, you can really tell when it's doing calculations, eh? I got a 16 core machine, too. Come on, Chuggy Chuggy, let's go. Oh, you're gonna punch! That's pretty good damage. Nah, then we want to be right on this guy, so we just get right up here. Only a couple hits. Oh! Goodbye! Wow! Richie, he wishes he was, in a, he was on our team now. Pummel this guy from the side. Acids on him. See if we can get back out of the ECM here. I think we are. Yeah. Uh, now we can do a bit of an offensive push, I think. See if we can take that leg. Just do it. Let's just get him. Oh, we got the leg. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was awesome. Okay, so let's go. And... Is he going to bail out? Nope. Still hanging tough. What's up, boss? Uh, let's get out of the trees, make a little bit of a chance to hit. Target this guy, gonna go out to this leg, he's got handful left. Let's just go with these. Both legs, there we go. Okay, good salvage. Good salvage. Okay. Does that mean they're all there or no? Nope. 
least they're coming in relatively from the same place. Ah, the crappy vehicles. It's gonna be crappy salvage on this. Unless we can get some mechs in here. Come on, man. Show me something. Bulldog, really? Oh, uh, man, you don't want to play that game. LRM-20 misfire, wow. Oh, I think they got a mech then. Don't hear a vehicle. Champion. No idea what that is. Going after turrets, eh? Feel free. Okay, so... Let's get over here. Oh, we got a few guys. Do we have two lances? We do. Nice. Arbiter, champion, 60 tons, bushwhacker. That figures. Charger, an 80 ton mech. <gasps> no. Receiving you. Um. Okay. I copy. Man, this is I'm not here. boating well. Just gotta hold them off. That's all we gotta do. Hold them off for eight turns. I'm thinking we take these guys over here first. They got lowered armor. Um, something tells me the champion champion's going to be nasty. Arbiter's going to be nasty. The bushwhacker's nasty. Yeah, you're smart. Pull back there, man. I stuck my nose out here. It's okay, we're about to stick our nose out with the uh, hunchback here in a second. He's got slug ammo. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. Jenner's backing up. Jumping back. How do you shut down? Something's wrong. Yes, I've noticed that happens to a few mechs at the start. They just shut down when they move. Uh, let's just try and finish this bulldog up real quick. If we hit him, he should die. Yep. Okay, they're down to seven. Pew! Tag your it, motherfucker. Okay, this charger. It's a nice chassis if we can get it eventually. They spent a turn or two targeting their vehicles and the turrets. That's good. We should be able to clear up this guy for sure. This guy's not moving. This guy we should be able to punch into oblivion. I hope. One good back shot, I think. He's got no back armor. Yeah, man. Stay back there. Good thinking. Okay, the champion still has to go, and I think this vehicle still has to go, too. Where did the champion move? This guy moved. Okay, it's the charger coming now. All right. We're going to kill range. Nah. Nice. Well, 
What's up, boss? See if we can finish him up. Okay, good. Hope we can salvage that. I don't. Ah, uh, that guy looks evil. Okay, we gotta check this guy out. Zooming in, champion. Yeah, he looks scary. Nice big jets in the back, though, eh? Pretty cool looking for a 60-tonner. Um, I'm on the wrong side. Attack this guy right here. See if we can finish him up. Got to get my heat down, too. Here it comes. Ah, oh, really? Really? No damage detected. <sighs> Waiting for orders. Okay, see if you can finish him up. Double time. Let's go. And everything into his side. There we go. Okay. Then they're down to five. Hopefully we can take this charger down. In one shot. I think I want to try and maximize salvage on the bush bushwhacker. We got a bunch of gorilla parts. I'm not sure how we're doing on bushwhacker parts. They're still working on vehicles and stuff, so... Once this charger is gone, we should be able to flank these guys hardcore. Just plow into their side. Vehicle I'm not worried about. It's taking a bunch of damage. They're shooting at these guys like they're... I don't know, man. They're really lousy. Not much raiders, if you ask me. Come on. Oh, the charger's going to go before Megasaur. Let's see what he does. He might run past us. That would be a fatal move, but... No, he's going to fire, then move. Damage minimal. Bet you he runs this way. He should go this way, but he's going to run this way. Oh, he's jumping! Well, this is bad. Just as bad for him. Roger. Ah, arm and torso. So we should go before him next turn. I'll leave Megasaur to deal with him. Actually, maybe we can get the assassin to finish him up. <laughs> My son's supposed to be going to bed. He's got uh, um, athletics tomorrow morning, and he's just goofing around on the computer. <laughs> uh, okay, come on, guys. Let's finish this up. Okay, nice head hit. These guys are going to kill them. <laughs> I'm just going to stand over here and let them just deal with them. Oh my god. They just took him down. Wow. Ready for orders. You don't even need to move, girl. Just attack this guy. Engaging. Oh, you... Well, we can't win them all. We're doing so well elsewhere. 
Waiting for orders. Let's get on that whacker. Where is he? Let's get over here. Okay. Going full throttle. We're just gonna shoot at him. Let's get his attention. Not gonna be be able to maximize salvage on much other than the Shadowhawk, I don't think. Okay, what are they doing? This is the most pitiful base attack I've ever seen. They haven't even got close to the turrets yet. Okay. Bushwhacker. Uh, here it comes, buddy. So their vehicle's going? I guess so. Man, all our turrets still have to go yet. Finally hitting something. All right. Let's see what they do. We still got two vehicles in all our turrets. What are you doing, buddy? Come on, shoot him up. Oh my god, it takes forever. Oh, you rotated your targets, eh? Okay. LRM double plus misfire. Oh, he's going down. Nice. How many injuries is that? Two of four? Come on, give me a head hit. Head hit, head hit. Bail out. You know you want to bail out. Oh, come on. Bail out. Look at this guy. Just hanging on. What are you gonna do, dude? You got like three lasers. We're not getting charger parts out of this. Think I'm gonna cut my losses at the Shadowhawk and just kill these guys. How many turns we got left? Four. We got plenty of turns left. So... What's up, dude? You got your orders. Right there. Deal with this guy. Ho <laughs> ho Nice shot. Don't think we'll kill this guy, but we'll hammer him. 
Let's switch out, let's switch out of the acid. And fire. He goes just before Megasaur does. See what he does. He's got like nothing left here. Bunch of machine guns. They're flanking. Standing by. Ah, oh, you don't quite have enough, eh? There we go. Yeah, not a bad chance to hit. Still not enough. That hit something good. Finish him up, guys. Come on. There we go. Six turns and that was done. Mission successful. Well, that was a pretty dang simple base defense map. Contract payment increased by 40%, which is nice. Make good some good sea bills there. Almost a whole month's worth of uh, of uh, financial report. Nice, no damage. Good experience too. So let's have a look. You know, we're pretty much starting, almost ready to start getting a new lance going here. Three, we've got chance for bushwhacker parts. Eh, chance for raptor parts too, nice. Um, Shadowhawk parts. Okay, so what can we use here? We're going to get a second lance going eventually, but we could use these guys. That might be another nice build on the uh, Hunchback. Medium pulses. Medium VSPL. That's a four tonner, right? 30 damage for four shots. Increased damage and accuracy. Falls up to 40% of their maximum. Uh, don't know if I'm happy with that. Medium pulses. What do we got down here? MML5s. Do we do that? We could put four MML5s on the um, that's a, on the uh, what's it called Wolverine Ultra Five. That's an option. Angel ECMs are nice. Bloodhound probe. Hmm. XL engine. Fire control system improved. Not as good as the other ones we have. The Rainmaker is kind of nice. Minus 15% heat generated from missile weapon fire. Um, heat sink cooling pod. That's a good possibility. Lower arm. Powered sensors. Void system, really? God, this guy's had so much good stuff here. LRM swarms. Bonus missile damage. Direct fire accuracy is decreased. 100% chance to deal critical hits with this. Indirect fire missiles that ignore clustering rules. That's kind of cool. Impaired movement for two turns.
Inflict damage to target legs, really. Interesting. Wow, wow, look at all the stuff here. Oh, God, I don't know. I think that swarm ammo is kind of a waste at this point. We said we needed double heat sinks, but I don't want to take them because there's so much other stuff here that we rarely ever see, like this Rainmaker. Uh, XL engine for cash, but we don't need to get cash, so... I don't know, man. Whatever I choose, it's going to be like the wrong thing. The void system we rarely ever see, so we have to take that. Swarm ammo, I don't know how often we're going to see this, but I don't know, do we really need it? If, these, if we make a mech that just stands at distance and fires LRMs, then this is definitely the ammo to take. I just don't know if it's now, though. All these medium pulses, though. Thinking for accuracy, though. If you want to start shooting stuff off, it's minus one accuracy, though. Um, MML fives, small X pulses. Man, I don't know. Not going to use. So if we leave the missile system idea out for now, we don't need any of that missile stuff. Heat sink cooling pod is a direct upgrade for a lot of stuff. A lot of our mech stuff. Um. Stacking bonus of three sensor checks made by this unit. Now we have a couple mechs that don't have sensors. We could take both of these and... Well, let's take the slick. Because we can definitely use that. There's nothing else down here unless we take the ammo. So I'm thinking... Let's take the XL engine. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're leaving so much good stuff behind. Let's go this route. Okay, we've got a bushwhacker part, nice charger part, raptor, three shadowhawk parts, excellent. Fluid gun, medium laser, SRM4, tag, and taser. Got a taser, really? Got to get taser ammo for it, but we got it. Vehicle flamer, and uh, we got the swarm ammo. Oh, well, that's interesting. It's weird that we chose that and then all of a sudden we got it, so that's cool. All right, let's have a look here. 8,000 and nothing in repairs. So that's really awesome. Okay, so let's go. Um, so we got nothing really to repair. Um, let's do it this. Well, it's still going to be three turns no matter what we do. So let's just repair this real quick. And I think we'll end the episode here. I think our lance is actually working quite well. So I'm thinking that we're going to start moving up to three skull missions. I don't think there's any here on this planet. Let's just have a quick look and see. Um, if not, what I'll do is I'm going to... we got to take the bait. We can take that next time we come back. And then we'll jump systems. Uh, we're at the end of the month anyway, so we might as well. Um, let's have a quick look here. Yeah, we're at the end of the month anyway, so... We'll take that mission next time we come back, and then we'll jump systems to a new system. Now, if we have a look at this star map real quick, I don't think we've done that much um, flipping. I think Draconis Combine had like 1% of this planet that we were on. Wow, now it's got 53. Really? Don't know if that was all us, but damn. Nice. That means we should be able to check out the store here. 
Yeah. Anything good? I got some coin to spend. Wow, Thunderbolt parts. That's interesting. Plus one accuracy medium lasers. Melee jazz hands. Not a whole lot. Flamer double plus. I mean, we could buy four of these things and update the... Uh, for how cheap this is. Plus two pips, plus one accuracy. Oh, uh, there's only one there. Ah, uh, no big deal. All right, well, let's drop that in real quick before I forget. And then we'll end the, we'll end the episode here. So when we come back next time, we shall take on that Three Skull mission. The uh, um, Spring the Trap mission. Because, you know, that's what we're good at. And um, let's confirm this. And hopefully when we jump to a new system, we're going to be just trying to find around a three skull system to jump to. We're going to start operating in the three skull range, uh, really hammering down, trying to find some more uh, medium mech parts. Um, we're running um, um, on basically maximum we can do right about now. So once we find some more medium mech parts, I think we'll be better off. All right, so we're going to end the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.